Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on uh, EFT automation. In this video, we will look at regular expressions. Um, it's also known as regex, uh, by the way. And uh, before we dive into the concepts of regular expressions, uh, let us uh, see or analyze a practical problem with applications and then see how that can be addressed using regular expression so let me uh, take uh, take you to the sample application let me log in and by the way i'm not recording this i mean the activity you could record this to experience the issue so the point here are you know the 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 scenario what we're trying to you know, record is log in open the order and then fax the order so i just logged in I'll go ahead and open an order. I uh, will use the third option, order number. Give some order number there. Of course, you know that order has to exist within your database. Once you open the order, I can do file, fax order. And on this page, you have three options. You need to enter a fax number, you know, a checkbox here to include um, the signature. And here you can, you know, uh, put your signature there. So, you know, at the time of recording, maybe, you know, you could give all this, check this, and, you know, here you will have to, you know, use your analog recording in order to uh, put a signature there. Say, for example, um, I'll just try to do this, agent, and then uh, uh, I, know, I would, you know, click send to send the uh, fax. And uh, look at this, you know, this screen, <coughs> Uh, has a name of fax order number one. So I'll hit send. So it's done. Now let's say, you know, now I would, you know, let's say close the application. And that's the whole thing that I recorded. Now what I want to do is I want to take this and maybe, you know, uh, loop through the orders let's say from 1 to 10 or 11 to 20 or 5 to 10 whichever you like uh, and maybe the order numbers might be coming from an external source like an Excel spreadsheet or your data table so the whole point here is you're trying to delete multiple sorry you're trying to fax multiple orders meaning you know you would open order process it open another order process it meaning you're sending it so let me go ahead and open the application again and show you the challenge so if I you know uh, I mean say we originally recorded the activity for order one uh, take a, a, a look at what really happens when you pick another order let's say I pick you know 22 and if I do file fax order but this screen is 22 but when we recorded with one it's one so it would not recognize this particular uh, screen that's a challenge I mean it's it's fax order number so whatever number you pass in in terms of search that's a number shows up here on the screen that means the title of the window is dynamic when the things are dynamic in nature you have to know why it is dynamic what is making it dynamic and then address it using our regular expression concept I mean this is just one example I mean anything could be you know anything that is dynamic and you know we could apply regular expression concepts there say for example when you log in into your hotmail or gmail it might say hello your first name right so if when John logs in, it might say, hello, John, or John, good morning, good afternoon, depending on, you know, the time and the time zone. And, uh, you know, let's say you log into your Amazon.com, you would see, you know, your name there at the top. So that is dynamic, and it, it depends on what the person who logs in. So 
anytime there is a dynamic element involved and if you need to test that and you know use it and especially if if the if the title itself is dynamic then you would definitely implement regular expression there okay so anyway that's a problem as you can see you know when you record if it's order number one it would record the title as order number one within your object repository and then um you would uh, you know uh, apply regular expression concepts and do there and uh, for and i i did not want to record it and show it to you in this video because i want you to actually record and experience this issue okay i want you to record that experience that issue then come back and continue with the rest of the video okay well let's continue and let's uh, talk about some basic concepts here so primarily if we were to take the same example i believe it was um, flight order number and one so this was the thing that is dynamic in nature but whereas this is static this is static this is dynamic meaning you know dynamic meaning it would you know change so and this is again what is it this is the title of the window window dialog box you know one of those okay and this you know, this is also applicable to uh, web pages you know we will definitely you know look at web pages as well so from here our uh, uh, you know, the, in order for us to fix this or address this issue, uh, what we really need to do is, you know, we would consider all this. We are okay because this is going to be static. I mean, this is going to be same. So here, we need to say that it doesn't matter what's in here. It could be one, two, three, A, B, C. I really don't care. But you know, one, as long as this is met. I want to proceed that means you know now if, if somehow if we could get to this point then we are we are gold meaning our script will run so we would use our regular expression to address this issue this particular issue okay now before we dive into regular expression uh, you know, I mean to say applying regular expression. Let us step back and understand what regular expressions are. So um, let's say, let me, I'm gonna let me clear all this. Okay. So let's uh, a simple example. Uh, let's say I have, um, you know, let's say a list of phone numbers. Um, Seven three two. Zero zero Let's say you have list of numbers here and I want to get all the numbers that start with 732. So to begin with we know that you know it needs to start with 732 and look at the pattern. You have you know you have what you know you have numbers and then you have a, a dash and then you have numbers then you have a dash and then you have four numbers this is a pretty much you know your telephone number format us telephone number format and that's our area code now now that at least we have an understanding uh, the kind of pattern we are looking for so we know that we want to get to the numbers that start with 732 so it should start with 732 and technically this could be anything after this so as long as I can get this done, I'm good because this would uh, display me or give me all the numbers that start with 732. Okay. Now, in terms of, uh, I don't know if you have experience with other programming languages, uh, but you know you might have at least you know, 
in the play cards you might have heard something called wildcard yeah wildcard search and sql server or you know any kind of programming language if you have an experience and if you don't have i mean you know maybe you you know playing cards you might have heard called trump all right you know some wildcard you know you know you could use for it for any match or for you know in any situation the any way you like so in this particular case what i'm looking for is i'm saying is you know i want to do with 732 and then uh, you um you need to say you know i, I want uh, by the way this is an incorrect regular expression syntax but bear with me for a second asterisk represents any number of characters any number of characters if I could spell characters till the end of the string and dot represents single character but within uh, regular expressions for UFT you always use asterisk with the dot so this is an incorrect syntax this would definitely fail so what you do is you say 732 dot and an asterisk this would match any string that starts with 732 okay but what if i mean this would give you what this and this but what if you want to find uh, a number starting with 732 but you want to make sure that it has you know some number or you know let's say you want to know that any number uh, that uh, you know what let me back out I want any number that starts with 732 zero, 01 uh, sorry zero, 00 and I don't care what's in here and then any, anything here is fine but they have to start with this but oh you know what let me add another restriction here I want either 1 or 2 or 3 I don't want any number I, you know this position if it has one or two or three I want to match it and you know the rest of the four could be anything that means you're restricting the match so in that case you do 732 dash 00 and then you do open square bracket and you'll say 1 comma 2 comma 3 or you could say 1 dash 3 1 2 3 you can do that or you say 0 to 9 then it will match all 0 to 9 numbers and then do dash and this would match the numbers that start with 732 and a dash and double zero and then there could be any number there between 1 to 3 so it could be 1 2 or 3 or you can also do 1 comma 3 comma 5 that means you know that position you know should match with one of these characters that's what it means and then you know it would match the rest now primarily this is how you use regular expressions uh, I mean you know th there are many things this is very fundamental thing the primary thing that I'm trying to introduce here is uh, a period uh, an asterisk which is any number of characters and then using square brackets and you know for to represent the range of uh, you know numbers you know you can do the same thing for alphabets you can tell if you put square bracket A to Z that means for that one position it could be any alphabet that's what it means now we will we'll execute some examples and see how it looks but these are the fundamental concepts now in order for you to understand what it means in terms of uh, you know regular expression when it comes to uh, you know uh, UFT so that means you need to know how to use you know syntactically you know what it means what is that you can do so we need to try to understand is there an object and if there is an object of regular expression then what are the properties and methods so let's take a quick look at that and then we'll dive into examples okay so the our 
regular expression regex this has three properties and three methods uh, within you know VB scripting now when it comes to methods or you know, let me first talk about properties this is a property there's a property called global by default it is set to false now what this uh, global uh, property does is if you set it to true that means it will consider the whole string that's what it is so you should you know, always set this to true the next property is ignore case meaning when you give a search criteria uh, for into a regular expression you know do you want to ignore the case you don't want to ignore the case that's what it's talking about so what this means is let's say for example you have um, you know strings called mill sorry I didn't mean that so mill Peters let's say it is written as a mill Peters so starting with uppercase and no uppercase and there, there are a few uppercase here so if you don't care about the case and if you want to match in any such instance then you would set this to true okay another property it's nothing but our pattern this is where you would define your actual regular expression right you know whether you know it's a to z 0 to 9 asterisk question marks you know uh, periods and all that so you would uh, use all that here in the, within the pattern so these are the three once you define the property then what are the methods that you can execute on this particular object these are methods of course one of the methods is execute right so it will execute the whole thing the next method that we have is test so you can perform the test the meaning you know you let's say you want you are searching for a string within let's say within the whole file and if you're performing a test with that regular expression if the string is found it will give you true but if it is not found it will give you false so it's a it's a bool value so you know it will say hey you know I found something or not even even if there are hundred instances or one instance it is true but if it is not found if the expression is not uh, found within the file then you know if there are no matches then you what you get is false then you have another another method called replace and the replace method primarily just replaces you know uh, with whatever let's say you want to search go through the whole file find for something and replace that with something else then you, know, you can use that option so this would be you know kind of a, uh, an idea of uh, you know using the regex so you know this object within uh, the code you know once you create uh, this object you know you have uh, three properties that you can work with they're all properties global ignore and pattern and you know there are three methods execute test and replace we will we'll look at each of these we'll use it in you know, re, you know kind of an example and see the results so that we get had, we gain better understanding of you know using these regular expressions within our application by the way we'll start with basic example maybe you know work on a text file maybe work on a string and then we'll use it on you know our application you know, we'll use uh, regular exp uh, expressions using our um, you know sample application we'll also use you know a couple of websites and see how we can apply there okay well uh, that's it for this video and I will talk to you in the next